The large pine weevil is the number one commercial forestry pest in Europe. After a plantation forest site has been cleared, pine weevils lay their eggs in the tree stumps that are left behind. When the eggs hatch, the larvae feed on the dead wood of the stump. After approximately one to two years, the larvae pupate and emerge as adults. For these newly emergent ravenous adults, the only food source available to them are the newly planted conifer seedlings whose bark they feed on. By removing the bark, the weevils disrupt the flow of water from the roots to the needles and the flow of nutrients from the needles to the rest of the tree. This can reduce the growth of the seedling, and if the bark is removed in a ring around the stem, the seedling will die. As such, the weevil is the only commercial forestry pest in Ireland that requires routine chemical insecticide application to control. On sites without chemical protection, up to 100% mortality has been recorded. However, imminent restrictions on the use of chemical pesticides in EU forestry means that alternative pest management options are urgently required. Already, a number of different options have been investigated, including nutrient loading, alternative silvicultural practices, soil scarification and biocontrol through parasitoid wasps and entomopathogenic nematodes. Although success to date has been mixed, with none of these methods tested providing sufficient protection while still remaining economically viable. With my research, I aim to exploit the anti-feeding properties of natural mineral elements to deter feeding by the pine weevil. I will add mineral rich amendments to the soil during seedling production including industrial wastes and crop residues, thereby recycling these materials. By adding these amendments to the soil, I hope to change the nutrient composition of the bark to make it less palatable to the pine weevil, leading the pine weevil to seek out and feed on alternative food sources. This research will allow the plantation of commercial forests to continue in a more sustainable and environmentally friendly way.